In this video, we're going to be talking, to the extent that we even can, about one of the most mysterious weapons ever developed, Greek fire. Now, before we get going, I just want to give one brief word about what you'll be hearing in this video. We don't know that much about Greek fire, and as a result, this video will be necessarily short. And it is possible that at some point, much of what you'll be hearing here will be wrong. This weapon was a guarded state secret of the Byzantine Empire, and thus much of the specifics of it are still debated heavily by Byzantinists, so this information could always change. That being said, let's go over what we do know. So far as I am aware, this wasn't ever referred to as Greek fire in the Byzantine texts. Instead, we get descriptions of this thing called Roman fire, automatic fire, manufactured fire, etc. Greek fire eventually comes to refer to a number of different incendiary weapons from the medieval period, so part of the problem here is one of definitions. Despite that, we're going to focus on the Byzantine weapon. So as far as this is concerned, what can we say about Roman fire? Well, the descriptions we have for this thing state that it burns on water, possibly it's ignited by coming into contact with it, and that it could only be put out by being covered with sand or possibly with old vinegar or possibly with urine. It was a liquid, and it had to be either ejected from a tube or thrown like a grenade, and that it sometimes was explosive. We know this weapon was used between about the late 7th century and about the middle of the 11th century, so about 400 years, maybe 500 years, and we know that to use Roman fire, ejecting it out of a tube was the key. So what did this device look like? Well, you can see a couple artistic depictions of this device. It's called a siphon. The siphon employed a double piston pump which forced the mixture through a tube and out of a nozzle and through a flame. The whole thing required three men, two to pump and one to direct the nozzle. We have artistic evidence showing two to three to four of these devices on Byzantine ships, and there was a smaller version called the Cairo siphon. This was a handheld version, and we have some evidence that it was used for defensive purposes on walls during sieges. It seems to have disappeared largely after the 11th century, and after the sack of Constantinople in 1204, it definitely appears to no longer be used. So, why was this the case? Well, we have two major descriptions of a weapon, which are agreed to be either Roman fire or something like it, which come from the writings of Sextus Julius Africanus, a historian of the late 2nd and early 3rd centuries, and the writing of Anacomnius the Alexiad. Sextus says the following. Automatic fire is made by the following formula. This is the recipe. Take equal amounts of sulfur, rock salt, ashes, thunderstone, and pyrite, and pound fine in a black mortar at midday sun. Also an equal amount of each ingredient, mix together black mulberry resin and zacanthian asphalt, the latter in a liquid form and free-flowing, resulting in a product that is sooty colored. Then add to the asphalt the tiniest amount of quicklime. But because the sun is at its zenith, one must pound it carefully and protect the face, for it will ignite suddenly. And the Alexiad tells us the following. The fire is made by the following arts. From pine and certain such evergreen trees, inflammable resin is collected. This is rubbed with sulfur and put into tubes of reed and blown by men using it with violent and continuous breath. Then, in this manner, it meets the fire on the tip and catches light and falls like a fiery whirlwind on the faces of the enemies. So, from these accounts, we know that this was some sort of a liquid and that it was sticky. The Zakynthian asphalt, which is referred to as Zekia in later texts, is probably a form of petroleum which came from the Black Sea coast of the empire, principally from Armenia, the Caucasus, the Kuban, and the North Pontic, which makes sense because the weapon is always described as a sticky liquid which burns on water, so having petroleum as the main ingredient, along with pine sap and other additives to make it thicker, is currently along the lines of what military historians think about the weapon. After the 11th century, this largely stopped being used, probably for two reasons. The first is that the empire loses the Black Sea in the Anatolian regions and thus access to the oil wells, and the other is that the fire was principally a naval weapon being deployed on ships called dromons. After the 11th century, the frontiers of the empire contracted, naval warfare decreased, and along with it, the employment of Roman fire. After the sacking of Constantinople in 1204, 
The succeeding Latin Empire lost the recipe probably as a combination of both of these factors. That's basically it. As I said, this was going to be a short video, since we don't have that much information. But hopefully you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care everyone, and I will see you all next time.